All right. We're good to continue. We're good to continue. We have the house now. No, wait, no, we don't. That's a lie. The house is one more day. Did I make grandpa the grandpa shed? The grandpa shed? What do you mean the grandpa shed? It is I, the Queen of Souls, here to teach you a new mouth watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, maple bars. Never notice how the maple bars are always first to disappear from the donut box. Perplexing. Because your average maple bar tastes like a sweet hockey puck, agree? Well, just wait until you try my recipe. You can really taste the forest in these bars. Okay, you're going to need some real quality maple syrup. On the left of my farm. It's... I don't think I've gotten that yet. Maybe I haven't met the prerequisites. Oh. I mean, thank you. But everything's automated. <laughs> Everyone around town is talking about your generosity. Apparently packages have been appearing in people's housing containing the items they posted years ago in the community center boards, and, and the packages are all addressed from your farm. Alright. I have to enter it. Well, shit. Then, no. I have not done that. I thought it was something that I have to do. Well. That would, uh... That would explain why. And from which point can you do that? Well, I didn't know. Nothing ever explained it. It just looked like a broken all down building. And I was like, okay, maybe that's something that maybe a future bundle deals with or something. I thought that maybe I have to do something that will then repair it. Curiosity get you to to look inside. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. So the, uh, I mean, did you only notice that I wasn't going there just now? Okay, we're making star fruit wine next because we've got to do it for Olivia's thing. Um, right, I need to plant stuff here. I mean, I guess I can plant more star fruit, but I need the seeds. We can do it. That's one lot. Ugh, I need way more. What else can I plant? Radish. I haven't done radish at all. I'll do a lot of radish. There's no way I'm going to get like 20 something seeds from this. I might need a, a few more. Right, not that.
Okay, that's done. And I guess I have some spare. But before I do that, I'm gonna go collect my axe before I forget and it gets too late in the day. Um, I don't need the watering can right now, so I'll do the watering can now. All oh, right. Yay. We did it. Yes. A gun was in there. Not sure how you did it, Warrior, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in this town is pleased. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like you I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You earned it. Okay. Grumble grumble. Who's that? Sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? Ah, Morris. What? All my customers here? This isn't good. How does it feel? Let's be reasonable. Hmm. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will be crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No, not this time. Gather around, everyone. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen, remember? The good old days. Emily, you were over that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. It, it was a lot of fun. Willie? Really? Me? Remember when your little crab experiment got out of hand? Heh <laughs> that I do. We showed up one morning and the place was crawling with them. But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea. A crab leg feast for the entire valley. I still dream of that garlic butter. You see everyone, our community makes Pelican Town special. When Jojo Mark came to town, we lost sight of that. But now thanks to Wario, we have a second chance. I'm asking you to join me in boycotting Jojo Mart. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. Who is with me? I've lived here too long to see this town go to ruin. You can count me in. Okay. No. No. This is a this isn't <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen. That face. I'm done for. Morris and his Jojo Mark cronies were never heard from again. <laughs> Nut face. 
<laughs> oh, yes. I hate that it put me here as well, but whatever. Terminated. Out of business. Alright. Bone flute. Okay, that I'm gonna go give it to Gunther immediately. I've already made the computer, so don't worry. I'm gonna give the dwarf helmet actually, because he likes that. Okay, that's new, I think. I should start making friends with Lance. Who's Lance? Thanks, I'll get started as soon as I can in a couple days. What do you mean, Lance? Lance? There's no Lance here. Am I- am I missing something here? He's a guild member who arrives on Tuesdays. Yeah, that's probably what- I, I've, I've never met him. <sighs> Those kids made a mess again. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Warrior. Apologies for the clutter. It'll be cleaned out more momentarily. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Okay, I'll try go there. Penny is normally good on these kind of things, but she was in a rush today after class. Help pack put the book. Help put back the books. Ah, you'll help put away the books. You can start on the right. Thank you kindly for the help, Mr. Warrior. Okay. What an exquisite gift, thank you. See, if I would have known sooner, he would have benefit from, like, this... ...community bundle thing. Hmm. Oh, hey! Just thinking to myself, don't mind me. Okay, we go home. I must tend to the animals. Oh crap, I forgot about that. The stupid cutscene. There we go. That's probably the best place for it. Go to the shed. I was planning to after the animals. Probably covered in trees right now. It's been a while since I went up there.
Sorry, just collecting here real quick. Oops. Oh, right, that's where his grave is. Hey, this won't cut down? Guess not. Ah, oh, that's so good. Two chops. Finally got this. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Yeah, I mean, curiosity, honestly, like, the look of that. I guess it didn't occur to me to go in. I'm surprised you didn't say something sooner, Cat. Oh. Well, I mean, it still works. I've been up here a couple times just to get wood. I want this to be cleared. So you can't go up there? No. Oh, wow, okay. Wait, so what do you do? Can you just put stuff in here? You can't fix this up. One day wait, one that day. Day that that, one day wait that, one day that that wait, one that that day day, one that that wait wait dot that, that one day. I think I have to wait one day, chat. This is nice, <laughs> not having to worry about slime anymore.
All right, I suppose I'll go to this forest and cut trees down. Ah, oh, so good. Two chops. Have I entered the vineyard? I have. It's abandoned. I went inside. That one I did go inside. But admittedly, that was like first year, so I haven't been there in the second year. It's definitely been a few seasons. It didn't. I haven't met apples. <laughs> no, I have not. But I did go inside, and it was just, like, as you saw right now. Well, like, I went in there, there was nothing there. This time I did go in, like... It's just I hate this forest, it's way too big. So I don't usually come here. How dare I not have knowledge that I don't know of yet. I felt like a waste to come here every day. Like, I w it's just this vast area that doesn't really have anything, really, except that one building. I mean, now I might come here more because I need to get wood, but... I mean, first, yeah, I could cut me some slack. <laughs> I came here, I checked it out, I explored it, the building was empty. At least I- at least I went in the building. You can't meet her before you complete community center. Okay, well then... Either way. What the? That was weird. I went inside the tree for a minute. Oh no. Um, okay, we have to put star fruit on. Because this one is time of the essence. That's all of them, I think. Just get in the house. Into bed. <laughs> okay. I don't care if I missed one. As long as the vast majority were on. Okay, well, I mean, either way, I got the cellar now, so I can... Oh, yes! Okay. We're gonna reorganize this. doing that. Okay, just a sec. I'm looking at cellar layouts.
That's the one. Alright, got it. So, 121 you can make. Wait, what? Someone's knocking at the front door. Hey, Wario. I'm about to check the structural integrity of that abandoned shed on your property. I'm licensed by the Ferngill Republic Building Association to make sure abandoned buildings aren't on the verge of collapsing. Do you have a moment? You can watch my inspection progress. I couldn't have done that sooner on your own. See, if this would have happened on its own, that would have been good. Then I would know. Instead, I have to walk into this thing. Hmm. I could actually refurb this shit if I had the materials. It'd be a challenge, that's for sure. I probably already have it. Visit me at my workshop and we can talk more about the specifics. Okay. Uh, before I do that, just a sec. Don't want to go overboard. I might already have enough for... Okay, 17. That's it, 121. That's how much fit down there. Yes. Wait, did I sell beets? Hold on. Okay, I did. So then these... Some of these can become sugar, I guess. I'll put them here. It's a vegetable. Rhubarb wine. Okay, hold on. Let me gather my wine. Also, Willy's unlocked the thing, finally. Ice cream. I got lucky in a raffle and landed myself a lifetime supply of Joja Cola. Jeez. Okay, fertilizer. General store open seven days a week. Can't... Okay, that's fine. I have no idea where I put his stuff. Collar's in one of these. It's in here. Hundred and three strawberry wine. I think I have enough just to put wine below, and then turn this new one into a cheese one. That might be a, a good idea. So one's for cheese and one's for wine. Accidentally put that back in the auto grabber. Oh, I glitched the icon. Alright, let's go talk to Robin, I guess.
Just moving stuff around. Okay, now I'm going to assume... Just assuming here. I'm going to bring these with me, because it says... It requires stuff, right? Oh, uh, what else could it be? You know what, just stick with this for now. I'm going to assume if I bring this stuff, it should... At the very least, let me put things in. I should focus on befriending the way that I have done bit by bit. His friendship is up there, not complete yet. Hey, I know what materials I need, so let's get to business. 150 pieces of hardwood, 600 pieces of stone, 50 iron bars, and 20 battery packs. Okay. There's a lot of rotten wood and dust. That's what age can do to a building over the years. It's not too bad, I think I have that. There's no rush on this project, gather the materials on time. Trunk in the building for you to drop off the materials as you produce them. All right, done. Oh, uh, in the building of like, at the farm, right? Not here. I mean, either way, I need to go back. Twenty batteries and. Oh yeah, there we go. 50 iron bars is the big one. And to start making those now. I'm halfway. I have what I need. It's just... Okay. All right, let me look at this layout. I probably, I mean, we well, can't even put it here anymore. This is based on an old version of the game, so I guess I'll just do what I can. It's not like the spares will go to waste anyway. What? Why does it do that sometimes? Yeah, exactly. I can use it in the shed later. Doesn't go to waste. Why? You see where my cursor is. Yeah, nice, nice, yeah. D I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm having a stroke, like... You see where the cursor... <laughs> look, look at where the cursor is and look at where it places it. It's because it goes red and then it's like, oh well, you want it here, don't you? Yeah, yeah! Oh, yes! Put it anywhere! Put it right in front of my face, yes? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, this stuff happens to me all the time. You shouldn't be surprised. Oh. No, man, this was fine. I think, yeah, that's it. Top, right, third, right. No, 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 you need this here so then you can reach that. That's intentional. 
I'm following a layout, like there is an intentional gap here. So then you can reach this one here, otherwise you can't. Can't you reach it from above? Uh, not sure. I'm just going with like what they recommend. Yeah, for some reason, doing stuff on a corner, it just, it doesn't always register. Listen, I'm having issues with the game obeying where my mouse is, as you can clearly see. Like, don't tell me I've missed stuff when you, you just quite, you've been paying attention to what's been happening with the casks, right? I can see them. Just out of frustration, I, I went past them on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Just, do you see this? I'm clicking. No, I know. You don't need to say it. I'll put it... I can always move it if it's a pain. Alright, that's the entire cellar full of wine. Bottom, middle row. Keep in mind it's past midnight, so like... Exhaustion is kidding. Oh, there I see it. Bottom. Like... Cut me some slack. Okay, I have to click, like... Maybe it's just where I'm clicking is wrong. <laughs> where do I need to click again? Sorry, I, I missed that. Where? You want me to click the top of the barrel? Okay. I guess it's just the iron bars, that's it. That's all that's missing. Uh, what am I going to put in here as a replacement? Maybe chili? Like, there's quite a bit. Pepper. To insert wine into Stardew Valley, you need to locate a homeless grandma in New York and press her left nipple. Why? Why the left one, though? Why not the right one? But, like... Okay, the missing bundle is up. I already have one here anyway. Um... It did say it's late. <laughs> the later it gets, the more brain tiredness happens, you know? Don't we all make mistakes? Aren't we all but human? Okay, just need the bars, which should be able to happen today.
I'm gonna put another chest inside out the uh, cellar. So then I can just place the wine in there from then on. It's way more important to have iron than gold, honestly. I just find that it's used more. Okay, chest. Hopefully... These will finish in time. Also, were you saying that, like, society dictates that it's left and not right? Damn, as, as a lefty, it kind of sucks. Okay, so what's in this final bundle? So... It'll be... Where is it? That. Void fish, I know, is one of them. Dinosaur mayor, thank you. Um, it'll be one of these. I, wait, I can see it now, can't I? If it's already appearing here, it should be... Hmm, the icon's not there. Alright, I'll just go there. Yeah, it's interesting that the... Uh, the thing is already here, but the cutscene hasn't played. Because with the original bundles, these tooltips didn't start appearing until I saw the actual bundle. Weird. I'll just put them in that chest, so then they're separated. It needs to be raining or storming. Oh well, I can I can fix that. Oh wait, can I? No, I don't have the truffle oil at the moment. I think I just sold it. Yeah, I did. I want to drop this off first, so... Let me deal with this first. Okay, and now teleport. It's nice to just be able to do that. Oh, this needs to go. It's getting too close. Okay, it is still in there. There we go. I mean, I'm still going to put him in here, just for the time being. I don't want to do, like, auto-stacking shenanigans tomorrow morning and lose it. So wait, does Robin instantly fix this? 
Or is it something that she needs a couple days? Suppose I'm gonna find out. That's so weird. Oh, sweetie, I'm pregnant. Isn't it wonderful? Yay. I checked over all the materials you gathered. Good job. You did your part, and I'll do mine. I'll, I work fast, so the shed should be refurbished tomorrow. Okay. That's still pretty quick, considering the house upgrade takes two days, and, like, that, it seems like that's equal effort. Hey there, I just wanted to drop by and tell you I started working as a farmhand for some of the local farmers in the valley. They'll be catching me around more often. Oh. So she's around now. Also, you should totally visit me in Grampleton. There's a kiosk at the railway station. My address is 106 Pondwood Road. Swing by sometime. Okay, I guess more to explore. Wait, what? What do you mean, no mail? Ah, whatever. Okay, watering can is ready. I guess up next is the hoe. Sixteen. Just thinking. I only have seven. Okay. Never mind. I was gonna make more. Her part of the exploration is lame. It's just a house in the middle of nowhere with just her and her parents you can't really interact with. Grampleton is future unfinished content. Okay. So, like, I'm playing early access. <laughs> Which, I mean, maybe we'll go back to this one day, I don't know. It'll, on most likely it'll be a whole new file. I mean, I'm pretty much only going to play this for Christmas, I think. Let me swap this out. Okay. Christmas is over, what do I mean? I mean the holiday period. Still the Christmas holidays. It's not super literal, like... The, only on the day. I've been playing in the lead up to it. I think you misunderstood what I, what I was saying. Uh, hold on. I'll go town first. I mean, that will probably happen soon, very soon, because I'm growing it. Okay, I guess the last thing remaining is the hoe. Although, I'm more tempted to just get a storage shed first.
And trash can. Yeah, trash can I, I can do whenever because it doesn't have an adverse effect on what I'm carrying. Whereas in these, I have to physically leave the item behind. In the interest of speed. This is just way more convenient. I mean, I'm thinking for aesthetic purpose, I don't know, seeing the pond is nice, but I mean, realistically I should do this. What else can I do? Like. I don't know. Aesthetics? Should I go aesthetics or should I go, like, practicality here? Because aesthetics would be I would put something cosmetic in the middle. Farm is pretty ugly anyway. Yeah, but it's not always going to be like that. Alright, for now I'll go optimal and then later I'll move shit around. There we go. Now I just go get the... Ah, oh, warrior. I've been waiting for you. Have I ever told you I used to be married? Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. My wife and I were together for many years until... Until I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger, anger and envy were so intense as she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. But now, it must be unsealed, for when we separated, she took my magic ink. I need that magic ink back. I would do this myself, but I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the saw. He'll know when to find one. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I'll make it worth your while. Now go! Okay. Oh, we got more. Greetings, warrior. I don't believe I've seen you up here before. I visit the graveyard to... Pay my respect to those who sacrificed their lives to keep the valley safe. Many of these adventurers were my friends. I went on an expedition in the mines with a couple of first slash adventurers who were eager to test their metal. Imagine their disappointment when we found out that the monsters have been thinned out. The progress you've made single handedly is impressive. Your assistance in keeping the valley safe is a debt I don't think I'll ever be able to repay. To tell you the truth, you remind me of myself when I was your age. Mag Magnus Ra Rasmodius and I 
privately meet regarding new monsters, wizards, witches, and adventurers who join our order. I want you to join our meetings, Wario. Your insight would prove most helpful. What do you say? Okay. I'll let you know when we have our next meeting. We usually meet at the guild building or at Magnus's tower. Sometimes we rent a room at the startup saloon so we can enjoy and good food and drink too. I must be on my way, Wario. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go to the summit. Because I don't really go up there. Goldenrod. And there's probably a bunch of stuff that, uh, yeah. We should probably keep an eye out for. Okay. Where'd I put that? That. That's all we need. Oh, and since we're going to see Krobus, why not? Scared me, cat. I thought that was a spam bot. I almost was ready to press the button. Let's say you're looking for a dark talisman. Hmm. Now that you mention that, I did have one on my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately, I dropped it while exploring that tunnel in the far corner. Things started heating up there, so I left in a hurry and sealed the entrance. You seem pretty sturdy, though. I'll open that back up for you. Just be careful, okay? I mean, until what time is he there? I'm sure I have time for this. Okay, defensive buff, let's go. I'll just run quickly. I do have time, but also tend to forget. Yeah, but it's like late at night for me. Uh, I'll do the fishing here later. It's not that I'm forgetful, it's just late. I will go meet him, just, just stop. Stop for a sec. Just a quick stop.
the pit stop. Hmm, fascinating. Ah, Mr. Warrior, I'm just taking a gander at the wonderful minerals, gems, and artifacts you've donated. There's a great many mysteries waiting to be explored in this very room. All this was possible because of your efforts. With the knowledge we've gained from these treasures, we can now ask ourselves the question. What is the history of Sardu Valley? Well, the civilizations, I guess. Yes, yeah, several civilizations lived in this valley. Many hundreds of years ago, elves, dwarves, void spirits. I'm determined to unravel the mysteries surrounding these ancient societies. No matter how you look at it, Stardew Valley is a magical place with sacred importance. Together, we'll make a discovery that'll change the world. Okay. Um, hold on. I'll have to reorganize these again. It's okay, time doesn't pass while I'm in here. Has to be a better way to do this. This is such an oversight, like just not being able to just click swap. I'm gonna do something else. Just kind of grouping... I guess things that are kind of like discoveries versus stone. See, this one's just the odd one out, always. I mean, I guess these... Wait, where is it? Like, that one's not technically stone. But I've got other ones in there that are kind of not technically stone either. They're like... I'm just doing it by color. Alright, whatever. This still feels wrong, but I guess it's like more, <laughs> more correct, I don't know. Okay, I'll leave it for now. Until I want to do another pass of it.
All right, let's just go home now. I'm I'm good. By the way, I'm joking. I know. <laughs> I didn't forget. That's Alicia. Well, you have a guide, you. There is no Lance here. Can you hold on a sec, chat? Sorry. <sighs> I had to deal with something just then. Uh Well, I'm here and he's not here, so what what I'm just gonna look him up in the wiki. We'll start appearing on his regular schedule after viewing the introduction cutscene. Alright, but it doesn't really... Where are the prerequisites? What? But it doesn't s Hang on, let me just make sure I read this properly. So how do you see his introduction cutscene? That's what I'm trying to find on this page. Are you sure I don't need Ginger Island for it? Because it says introduction, time, any, map, volcano, for Ginger Island. It occurs when the player enters Caldera's Volcano Forge. I don't think I can do this yet. I think he might be here on those days, but I think the first time you meet him... According to this, if you go to the introduction... It says Volcano Forge Ginger Island. But that's the heart of it, so I don't know. But it doesn't really say the first time you run into him and how. Okay, now there it is. Version history. Introduced as a character on Ginger Island. So I can't I can't do it yet. Telling me to go meet Lance. Psst. Not even meetable. Okay, to be fair, I'm not that far away from Ginger Island, as the stuff with Willy just happened, so... I'm gonna look up how, what Willy's boat requires. I know it's hardwood, batteries, I forget the rest, iridium bars. Yeah. Let's see.
Okay. So 200 hardwood, 5 iridium bar. Okay, so hardwood I need to work on. So that's what we're doing next. We're, we're getting hardwood. Um, I need to go do this, this thing first. Since I have the void mirror, I'm gonna go do this first, but... It shouldn't take long to amass 200 hardwood. I have everything else. So weird. Okay, first things first. Yeah, hear me. You want the pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. Is that the smell? I can't resist. Give me that. Thanks. Okay, now. Let's get this void cop. Avoid salmon. Well, I need two. Because I want to make a fish pond out of it. And one of them has to be gold quality. Okay. Oh, it's a catfish. Whoops. There's his ink. I do find it funny there's like a teleportation spot directly to him. Oh. Two... The symbols are scratched off. I wonder what this says. You'll probably figure it out. Which? I would imagine this says which. Yeah, I don't know. You found my ink. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, did you happen to see my ex-wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone or... Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Anyway, you must be wondering about your reward. Here. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. I think you'll find it useful. 
I almost forgot to say it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I guess for, I'll leave from here and go chop some hard... Oh, hello. That's new. Wait, what? This was probably a bad time to do this. You sent a magical presence deep in the forest. Oh no. Oh. There's a faded Junimo inscription. Follow the mushrooms. Uh, this doesn't seem to go anywhere. This was such a bad time to do this. <laughs> There's mushrooms here, though. Come on. There we go. Elvish jewelry. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, it would have been nice if I had more time, you know, but unfortunately I kind of got here at <laughs> an inopportune time. I do see what, what's coming. I might have to come back. I don't think I'm going to get this. Got like two minutes. This seems very I think I'm just going around in circles. I might not be able to do this today. That's not as intuitive as they would like to believe it is. This grave is written in Elvish. You don't understand the language. We try to read it. Okay. Seems like Latin almost. Okay. 
Oh, come on, what? I can be here for like another 30 seconds. Okay, I found it, finally. Jeez. Okay, hang on, let's just... We got, we got a little bit of time. The fish. Stonefish, ice pip, what else? Dinosaur egg, door square. They can sell stuff that you're missing. Seeds. I just want to know. Magic bait. Deluxe fertilize. Ugh, I have to go, otherwise I would have fished here. Okay, I, I guess I more or less know how to go there. It's, to get there, you have to go to the right. That wasn't that intuitive. Got another Gunther thing. Alright, let's just go to bed. Yeah, I can see why that you didn't like that part, Cat. <laughs> If I didn't have those totems, I would not have gotten as far as I did. <laughs> I was able to push it because of those totems. Wait, is that- that's fixed? Oh, you sent- no, wait. This is the Cindersap forest thing. I thought it was showing me my building for a sec. I'm saving my hardwood, so I'm not gonna start the cheese factory yet. Okay, Sam's birthday. Let's get him a Georgia Cola. Just looking at something. Gunther likes all that stuff. Make one of these. <laughs> I figured it was about time. 
Uh, I mean... Just put these in here for now. Okay, carry a collar. But I'm just quickly going to go see Sam, unless I don't have to. Let me see. No, I do. Okay. Where is he? Okay, is that his house? Nearly. I have 18, so two more. I'm putting these in the greenhouse. Oh. Nice. I guess I pick these up. If I got full hearts with someone, it won't show on their birthday on the UI. Ah, okay. It's kind of convenient. I mean, I don't know how many more I'll need, but... I could probably fill it up like I want. Alright, let's just go for a while. Oh, she must have gotten... You would think that her portrait would change. <laughs> Oh, I guess she's still wearing a uniform. Oh, hi. Um, no one told me. Wow. Jeez. That's, that's, uh, yeah. That's pretty corporate. I suppose I'll go home now. Was this supposed to make you feel for the people that lost their job? So hot today. 
I hope she comes back for the cinema. Alright, where is Sam? <laughs> He's already moving. He's on the move! Uh, two dozen eggs. Yep, that one. We're doing that one. Unfortunately, I have to gather them. Oh, wait, before I go back. I just realized this is something else that's going to throw me off, but whatever. It's fine. Oh. Okay, it's still the same. But you can go here. I didn't know that. But see, if they... <laughs> click swap. Where's the click swap? Hey, what do you think you're doing? This is private property. Sam! Uh, 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 sorry, sir. <sighs> Youth these days. Sometimes I wonder if this town isn't doomed. You saw what happened, warrior. What do you have to say about this? Yeah, here's the thing. Most councils and local governments know that the easiest way to solve this shit is to give them some way to do it. You're a rookie, Lewis. Exactly, if there was a park in town, I could ride there and everyone would be happy. Hmm. I thought you were more mature than this. This is a mature solution, dipshit. <laughs> Sam, sorry I yelled at you. Just try not to damage anything in the future, got it? Like, if you, if you were running a good local town here, you would have a park for these kids to go do this. Did you see the trick, though? That was rad. Oh, what? Haha, <laughs> that's great, Sandy. Sandy's here. I know, Emily. Wario, hello. Hi, Wario. We are just about to go knock on your door. Sandy surprised me with a visit today. She wanted to see you too. I know you like surprises, Emily. Hmm. Um, so... I thought I could maybe see a farm warrior. I caught a glimpse of it from the bus stop. I haven't visited yet. Oh, the farm is incredible, Sandy. Let's go. Fine. This is new. Yay, I'm so excited. Hooray. Warrior, let's go to your farm. I was gonna go back there anyway. This is amazing. They're still not done yet. <laughs> wow, your farm is impressive. It's a lot bigger than I imagined. Isn't it beautiful, Sandy? This farm used to be nothing but trees, rocks, and weeds. Warrior completely turned it all around. All on your own? That must have been a lot of work. Emily, let's go to the beach. I haven't seen the ocean in forever. Oh, uh, that's a great idea. Warrior, would you like to come with us? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Emily's in the scene. You're right. And she's in the trophy. <laughs> I didn't realize that until now. 
<laughs> because of where I put my trophies, she's standing in the trophy. <laughs> Yay, next stop. Damn it. If I had married Emily, I could make a pun about, like, her being a trophy wife. But I haven't, so... Dad joke. So pretty. Oh, I have. I love the sound of the ocean. The waves are so soothing. Being in the desert so long, I forget how beautiful the ocean is. The only thing missing right now is, like, Emily being inside the crab pot, too. Hmm, sometimes I take this valley for granted. There are so many amazing places here. Like, that's just how she rolls. She just gets inside structures. Is there anywhere that has a better view of the ocean? Hmm, yes, there's a huge cliff at Blue Moon Vineyard. You can see miles and miles of the sea up there. Oh, right, let's go then. Next stop. Quick, Emily, get inside the bench. <laughs> Sorry. I've never been up here before. This view is amazing, Emily. It really is. The gem sea looks beautiful up here. I wish I brought a camera. I would have taken a picture. Next time I visit, I'll be sure to bring one. Um, I know it's a bit far, but can we go to the summit? Oh, that's a big hive hike up the mountain. If you're up for it, we can go. I know what I should say. Let's start heading up there. Yay, this is going to be fun. Wow, this view is breathtaking. You can see the entire valley from up here. It really is. You can see Pelican Town, Cindersap Forest. You can even see where we just were at Blue Moon Vineyard. You don't get to see views like this at Castle Village. I need to visit the valley more often. I would love that, Sandy. I'm happy to hear you'd like that too, Wario. Oh. <laughs> now it just looks like a hot air balloon for ants. <laughs> it's not in the distance, it's, it's like... A tiny hot air balloon. Oh, look at the time. It got a lot later than I thought. <laughs> I have a night shift at the Oasis tonight. Ah, oh, that's a shame. We're having so much fun too. I'll visit again soon, Emily. I like to think that because Emily is, you know, a little bit of a... a person that has wild dreams, like, that's just something that's a figment of Emily's imagination. That she, she's seeing shit again. Or maybe this whole thing is just another dream sequence, who knows? And it's just a tiny hot air balloon just coming across, like, near her. She was- her eyes were in that direction the whole time, so... Thanks, Aria, let's make our way to the bus stop. I need to visit the valley again soon. This was fun. Wario, you need to visit me sometime in Castle Village. I'll show you around. There are unique locations there too, although I prefer the ocean here. 
Bye, Sandy. Have a safe trip. Hmm. Eh? Heading off now. Ciao. Bye, Sandy. <laughs> she was summoning it. <laughs> Jeez, that, that was quite the cutscene. Um, okay, I'm going back now, I guess. Feels like a whole day passed. You like to think... Wait, but... Aren't they sisters? Or are they just friends? Because I see the... I see... Because isn't it in their house they have, like, a portrait? I guess that picture can be... Haley and Emily are sisters. Right, but there's, like, a picture, and I think all three of them. Emily and Sandy are friends. Yeah, I'm looking at the page. Interestingly enough, it says... Sandy is not her real name. The game never discloses what her real name is. Huh. Yeah, I don't know where I got that idea from. I guess it's just that picture in their house where it has... I'll go see it. Sure, I mean, maybe they can be in a relationship together. I mean, <laughs> if what I'm saying isn't true, then yeah. I need to see how many more of these I need. Uh, six, right? Six. I mean, you can have pictures of yourself with friends, not just family. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm just basing it off, like, what's framed and on a wall. Like, growing up, I don't think we had any family friends on the wall. Like, it was typically just immediate family on the wall. I guess that's where I'm basing that from. That's my own experiences. Okay, uh... One, two. There we go. That should cover it. Two young girls living pretty much by themselves. Yeah, but it's established that that house is their parents' house. I mean, at least according to the mod. Or, or maybe their parents pay for it. Maybe I misunderstood. But they want their parents back. Like, I remember that cutscene with Haley. Okay, that's six. There we go, it's all set up. Uh, now how am I gonna do this? I guess... Top half, and then bottom. Or I could do this way. Let me just go get star fruit seeds. Uh, 
I thought it had more star fruit, or did I maybe accidentally auto stack it somewhere? I might have used it all to make the wine, admittedly. Why haven't I made those sprinklers? What do you mean? Oh, there they are. I knew I had more. For the greenhouse, doesn't that cover the range of it? Like, once you expand these... They fill the radius, don't- oh, no it, do no, it doesn't. It's like one extra. Maybe I got this wrong. What a weird layout. I don't know, like, this is fine for now. I guess I just slapped the iridium sprinklers down there and left it. Hang on. Oh, I got ancient seeds out of this one, rip. Oh, wait. What did I put in there? I thought I put these in there. Doesn't matter. It fits six of them perfectly. It was designed before the Ginger Island patch. Yeah, so I guess that's probably why. Like, I didn't know that. I just assumed it was going to be fitting perfectly, like four of them. I just left it like that. Well, I mean, to fix it now, I kind of had to take out some plants, so I'm not going to do that yet. Maybe when these star fruit are done, I can go towards fixing it and that. But right now, I'll leave it. Like, admittedly, I will have to kill one plant, but I guess it's fine. One, two, three, four, five, and the void salmon, and then we're done. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I have no reference to when this was made, so, you know. That's fine. It should be fixable pretty easily. Okay, that's that. It's probably too late to, uh... ...to go to that forest thing. All the others made it back, except me. Now I can go home too. Thank you. Thank you. 
Bye bye. Something good will happen soon. Unless I just use Deluxe Retainer instead of Sprinkles. Ah, Sprinklers. I said Sprinkles. <laughs> I'll just use the sprinklers. Well, yeah, I think I've neglected to collect these for the last couple of days. I'm going straight for the bar, uh, the upgrade of that building. Am I going to get more ponds? Yeah, just I right now I want to prioritize that st storage shed, so then I can start putting um. I want to move all that, those furnaces and all that stuff in there, and then also have, um, what do you call it? Crystallariums in there. So I want to move crafting t inside there, more or less. And then that area, I guess, can squeeze one more, like, Sprinkler. I'll probably move the, the sap farm as well. I might possibly be able to put it along the bottom. Because it looks like there's, there's going to be like a little bit of room. There's no way I'm going to go to that secret forest thing in this time. I think I'm just going to cut down trees. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, just kind of playing it by ear. But, I, like, as I'm going, I'm thinking how I can go to the next step. I mean, you know how I am. You gotta trust the process, cat. I know the process might not seem good at times, and it, and sometimes, admittedly, I'll correct course, but eventually it'll get there. Sometimes I have to try stuff and see that it's not great. My progress scares you sometimes. In what way? What do you mean? Like, lack of? Just out of curiosity. Okay, now it does trigger a scene here. You just remember freaking out, out about how our base was looking in Terraria for weeks. <laughs> While I was all chill about it. Yeah, because, like... Like... I can't start with something pretty right away, like, particularly in these kind of games that have a bunch of goals, it's... I... I'm like this in real life, if I have to make something, I'll kind of make a mess at the start, but then that mess 
it'll just disappear and it'll become something good. <laughs> That's... Because I, I don't want to spend time, like, gathering my thoughts and planning things and overcomplicating it. I'd rather just, like, put things down in a really rough way. So then it's like, alright, I understand that this is bad. People are going to say it's going to look bad. People are going to say it looks messy. I'm going to hear it nonstop, but, like, this is the quickest way for me to start something. <laughs> of course it can be pretty from the start. Not for me. It gives me time to, like think and be creative and have an idea. Okay, anyway, the symbols vaguely look like the language of the Junimo, but I'm unable to make out what they say. And particularly how, you know, things have goals. Goals. Like, here I have tools to upgrade, so I have buildings to build, like, that's... Me making something look pretty is going to be secondary to that, because my mind's going to be like, no, like... Get your- get your shit together, then make things look nice. And Terraria, I guess... It's hard because... For me to make things look nice, I like having a wide... Range of materials to use, and... In Terraria, you don't get that until you progress anyway, so it's kind of like I have to progress if you want me to make things look nice, because otherwise I'm kind of restricted in the stuff I can use to build. Just start with the best I got. I mean, yeah, like... I probably can, but I don't want to, like, it's just not me. Look, I made a I'm playing on YouTube now, and I made a building out of the basic stuff. Like, I made it out of every single material you find at the start. Stone, wood, copper, uh, basically anything you find in the starting area. So, I did do that. I made a single house that way. But it just felt like a compromise. <laughs> But I guess that's the thing, is if I make something nice early, I don't... It gives me less incentive to change it later, because I'm already like, okay, this already, this looks semi-nice already. So it means it just kind of stays that way for longer. Whereas in if something's a mess, I can acknowledge it's a mess, and then I can be like, alright, this is the grand plan, I'm gonna make it now. It's basically... You either get me to do it right away, and then it's probably not as good as, you know, waiting. And then eventually I will make something decent. The problem- the problem with the Terraria- the time we played Terraria was pretty much- I don't know if you had the expectation that, like, I was going to start some massive building thing right away. Because even when I did that massive build with the tree, that didn't happen right away. But I guess you never saw what I had to go through to get to that point. I'm sure there would have been moments where you would have been, like, just typing, Will, what are you doing? What is this? This doesn't look good. Oh, Tom Carl soup. Caroline sends that. Okay. Uh, I mean, I have cabbage. Let's let's do some pickled red cabbage. I don't need normal wood, so I 
Wow, that ran out quickly. <laughs> Just, I can only make two. I guess wood is not the concern, it's, uh... It's the coal. Alright, but now at least it's... It doesn't have, like, a gap. Okay, now these are in sync. <laughs> you know that once I've started, whatever I do is amazing, way cooler than what you could make, but my process to get there scares you. Yeah, well... I mean, I, I guess that's... that's normal. Maybe I'm just one of those people that's just, the only way they can be creative is to be chaotic, and that's, that's definitely a thing. Oh, I forgot to sell the Void Mayor. Okay, I'm gonna keep making friends with the wizards, so I'm gonna go down and give them a Solar Essence, and then go to the woods and cut trees down. The weird thing is, like, when I'm doing design work for work, I'm... I'm actually really, really organized. But I guess the difference there is, is like, for that, I know that I have to, because if I'm not, then it just makes it harder, because multiple people have to work on things, so I know to make my life easier, I have to make it easier for other people to work with my stuff. So, I guess, like, in that way, of it's just habit. Okay, let me see Gunther. Okay, I can give him a present. So, we will gift him... Although, we can probably open one, but let's get him the fan. You didn't have any expectations I'd make something huge and amazing right away, but you were suffering in those boring boxes until hard mode. Like, you just wanted to make it prettier, but I was like, wait. Yeah, but, like, wasn't the end result great? I feel like if I would have done it earlier, it probably wouldn't have ended up the way it did. I guess that's that's the trade-off you have to make with me, is like... You can either have it right away, or you wait a bit and it's better. <laughs> the end results were beyond your expectations, but still. But, like, th that's the only way I can get that way. Like... That's the thing. Otherwise, you just won't experience that. I mean, you gotta give me credit. At least with this, there are some things that you know that I never would do, like this. Like, when we played this, you had to do it. So, I have made concessions in that department a little. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. I mean, even outside, right? Like, I've, I've tried to make this look semi-nice. I didn't just go with whatever. Like, I know it's, it's not amazing with my chest organization, but... At least this is fine. You were biting your tongue when you disagreed with the order. Yeah, I mean, I tried to roughly go in order of hue. Like, I pulled up a color wheel and just tried to eyeball it. Give you credit, you did bite your tongue. I was half expecting. It's like, no, Will, that one goes over there. And then I'll ask you why, and you'll give me, like, a pretty thorough explanation as to why that doesn't go there. But I'll still, like, refute it, just because I, I, I like to hear the reasoning. Are you that predictable? Uh, nah, I mean, we've hung out enough. I feel like we know each other's mannerisms. Wouldn't be able to do that with everyone. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure you could predict what I would do. If it helps, I mean, I know that at any given moment you might say something that I just don't see coming. Like, uh, I don't know. Like this, this Baneberry, you might read it as Banabere. Or something like that. Kind of like, you know, Rust Handle. It was Rusandle. I wouldn't be able to predict that if I could try. Oh, I forgot to get the thing for the wizard. I said I was going to. Suppose it's not too late, I can correct course. Oh, hello. Warrior, intense magic is surrounding you. What have you done? Hmm, Junum activity in the abandoned vineyard? Most interesting. And what of the object you're carrying? Feel something in my pocket. What is this doing here? That miraculous golden scroll is enchanted with forest magic. Please, follow me to my abode. This will require a thorough arcane analysis. Hand me the scroll. Stand back. I'm unable to decipher the scroll. It's so faded it's almost illegible. And my translation skills are rusty. 
ads. What did, I mean, I don't know where you would have not heard. What was the last thing you heard? I will call a good friend for assistance. She excels in ancient languages. She's arriving momentarily. Ah, who did I contact? The Witch of... My, 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 hello there, dear. You requested my help, Razzy? This scroll, what can you make on it? You don't know. Okay, well, I just responded to the predictability thing. It's like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of like, we've hung out enough. We could kind of figure out what the other's gonna say. And if it helps, there's like, sometimes you'll say stuff that I won't see coming. Like how you pronounce stuff, like rust handle. And then I'd read Baneberry as Banabetta. I think that was it. The spirit who wrote this hardly understands their own language. It's like reading the writing of a child. I think they must be young. A Junimo has taken up residence in the cellar of an abandoned building west of the Cindersap Forest. They request 200 star fruits. It would seem they're on the verge of make you're making a new friend, warrior. 200? Well, it's a good thing I'm growing them. You know, warrior, I could use someone with your... abilities. Oh, why is she winking? Camilla, that's enough. You're no fun, Razzy. Is that all you needed me for? Indeed, thank you. Adieu. <laughs> I mean... If I was pretty spot on, that's fine, right? Like, you could probably do the same with me. I'm sure there's, like, a situation you could probably read what I do. She has important matters to handle in Castle Village. Forgive her manners, warrior. That doesn't make me, like, completely predictable. It just means you know me. Your connection with the Junimos is fascinating. And it's not like I can do this with everyone. It surpasses even mine. Hmm, I wonder if this is related to your deeds in the community center. Do keep me updated. I'm quite fascinated by this turn of events. <laughs> Cutscenes galore. Hey, Wario. Oh, we haven't found them, like... What am I doing? Cleaning up my mess. I guess it's because I feel bad about it. I've chucked a lot of bottles off this cliff, too many to count. Bah? Bah, nothing I can do about the ones down there. Well, need to finish cleaning up this mess. See you later, warrior. Um... Oh, come on! <laughs> it just won't let me- it won't let me go home. It's... Krovis? You're filled with energy today, little one. Oh, please show me. Do they know a shortcut? I followed Krobus in the Junimo, but I got lost in the woods. Luckily, I found my way back. Maybe I should speak with Krobus later. Ugh. Ugh. 
I just wanted to gift the wizard. What? No, no, no. Humans are our friends. Yes, good. Wait, this is my friend Wario. Wario won't harm you, it's okay. Krobus was trying to teach the Shadow Brute to be friendly. I should talk to Krobus. I'm trying to, but you won't let me. <laughs> I'm sorry you were attacked. That shadow person was Ozul, a new friend of mine. He isn't used to seeing humans, at least ones that won't attack. I've been trying to befriend other shadow people in the mines. It's difficult teaching them to be friendly to humans. They're scared of your kind. They won't tell me exactly why. Okay. I mean, since I'm here, right? Void Salmon Sushi. Okay. All right, now that I'm here, let me... I could have sworn there was another fish here. Yeah. I might have to double check the wiki. Okay, hold on. Fish. I guess it's... So it's an all day thing. It's found in the mutant bug layer. So there is one. Okay. There it is. Wait. That wasn't what I was looking for. Oh, that's another one. There's a third one in here. Uh-oh. Oh, that's annoying.
There it is. Okay. I mean, I might have time to go do this still. <laughs> Hopefully. Get the solar essence. I have no idea where this thing is anyway. First wizard, then go find it. Present. Ah, oh, this isn't beautiful potent arcade energies. It's useful for my studies. Thank you. Aren't I tired? Uh, a little. Not that much. I don't know, should I be more tired? This might seem like a dumb question, but where was that portal? Alright, so it just wants a hundred star for it. Two hundred. Never mind. One hundred. It's probably too late now to start looking for this. But I should know where it is. At the very least. I'll just cut some trees down.
Okay, last three. I'm just always out of iron. I guess now I'm out of coal. Okay. Whoops. Have another cow. Um, anyone got a name for the cow? Grekkers? Nah. Cute. Wizards. The Caney. Whoopo. Or it could be who. Zapu. Moonkey? Sure. Why not? <laughs> All right. Well, I suppose that'll do it. I should probably get some rest. It is late. I just kind of lost track of time because I was playing. Why'd I say it as Moonkey? I don't know. Why do you say Rust Handle as Rust Handler? <laughs> these are... These are questions. How is it supposed to be said? Moo? Like Moon... Like, how is he supposed to say it? Phonetically, put it out. Like monkey. Moo. It's moo. Like, but. It's moo. And then. Monkey. Moonkey. Like, what do you want? What do you want from me? <laughs> I put the word moo in there. I'm sure this is going to be like some weird European way of pronouncing it, so I'm not going to bother. Moonkey. Like, is that better? <laughs> I'm so tired. Go to sleep. I will go to sleep. Thank you for watching, everyone. Appreciate you hanging out and chilling. Hope you enjoyed. I'll probably do a bit more of this tomorrow at some point. I might do some more Dwarf Fortress, because I, I feel like playing that, and, uh... I do want to get good at that game, because that... That was an interesting play, and I want to see if I can make a fort survive more than a few hours, and not get destroyed by birds. Also, that game has a lot of Scandinavian-looking words that I'd seem to fuck up in pronunciation, so that's always fun. Alright. I'm gonna go now.